Brilliant. Brilliant fetch up under big pressure. He can't afford to slip there. Only 24 years of age still, dear brother Connor, still growing and emerging as a centre field player. But he's a player of real stature. Shawnee O'Shea now. Taking it back again from O'Connor. Only a few more seconds to go here before Kerry will secure their place in the semi-finals of the 2024 All-Ireland Championship. And for Derry, this is going to be their fourth defeat. And this time there is no comeback. This time it will be terminal. Paulie Clifford. Kerry, for me, have really controlled this second half. They have... Even early on in the half, I thought they were starting to attack better, although they not really got many scores on the board, but they were starting to attack better. And then, as I've mentioned, the, the subs off the bench have done well. Derry's attacks, on the other hand, have been few and far between four points. I think maybe they've scored this half in total. They haven't missed a huge amount else. David Clifford comes, gathers, collects, and hits it out as far as Tom O'Sullivan. And Tom gets moving. They're four up. It's a championship match where he hasn't scored so far, but that doesn't matter, I'm sure. He's just anxious to get into the semis as Gavin White completes the move and puts it up and over, and he gets among the scores as well. And Jack O'Connor there, and Mike Quirk, fist pump. They will feel a job done well in the end, in particular in the second half, as Ender McGinley has been saying, where Kerry dominated, and Kerry have won this quarter-final tie, they've beaten Derry, it's a game that will not linger long in the memory, five between them at the finish, but Kerry came out for the second half and did what they had to do, David Clifford three points today, Mickey Hart's Derry now bow out of the championship, Kerry move on, we believe they will be playing Armagh in the All-Ireland semi-final in two weeks' time, 40 Clifford.